All right, everybody. When it's just the boys from Baltimore talking sweet geekery in your ears and smack talking movies, it must be the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week, we bring you news and interviews from the Geekoverse. Not this week. Uh, we do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. That's right, folks. No guests this week, just us. So uh, that's me, Peter Bryant, your host. Uh, and joining me this week is uh, Mike Kifas. I'm dripping in sarcasm. Nice. Oh. Coated with it. And uh, Jack Ballard. Hello, how are you? Hey, Jack is not going to look like that soon. i uh, got him a new setup. Going to get it all hooked up for him this, this week. And it uh, should, uh, should, should be a nice little new setup. Hey, Jack, uh, you, you gotta, uh, you gotta, are you going to be in the same space, or do you think we're going to find you uh, another room to be in? Uh, we'll probably, I, I have a great idea uh, for what we're going to do. So um, I have a big piece of stained glass, and I think it would be good if I had it behind me like, to give some kind of holy roller, kind of churchy effect. Some some sort of you know, some sort of appeal to higher authority. Sweet. So, you'll you'll be in the church hall. You'll be in the I'm sorry in the church uh, proper, and then I'll be in the uh, church hall dungeon. Yes, <laughs> the catacombs. Yes. Nice. yes. Nice. All right. Well, as we said, everybody, we're gonna we're gonna talk about. We're gonna be talking mostly about movies tonight. Uh, movies, TV shows, that that kind of stuff. Media. Um, you know, because no other podcast in the world does that. So we're going to put this <laughs> u- unique <laughs> spin on this. Try, trying something a little new, are we? Yeah. <laughs> so I hope it's not too far out of the lane for you all, you know, that, you know, something you can handle because you know, <laughs> no, it's our take, whatever. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we have the movie draft going on. So it, it's, it's, it's a thing, thing we do. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I am Look dead fucking last in that thing. I am yeah, you so, are. uh, it's pathetic. <laughs> right. right. What's that, Mike? <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we just start with that? How about okay. that? Okay, I'm good with that. I, All right, so I say we do that. So, have you today guys? Today is National Emoji Day. Yeah, <laughs> and that lifted my spirits because emoji is pretty much what it's all banking on. That has to take me straight to the top. That's got to be the best movie ever made in the past sixty years for me to even come in like second place. Right. And so that's what I'm. So I'm hoping with the emoji day behind us now. I saw there was a lot of participation. I'm hoping that really you know bumps these numbers up. Otherwise, it's sad. We should have a penalty for being last. Like instead of having a prize for first place, we should have a penalty for being last. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> there have been penalties for being last in the past. No, it, no. It was a, the, you know what the penalty was for was for uh, yes, for, I do. For me shit, being a dick, shit talking. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so Mike, Jack, okay. if you just uh, limit your shit talking, you'll you'll be okay. Ah, oh, that's fine. my favorite. That's the only part yeah. I like. Well, no. well then. Uh, <laughs> Prepare for your uh, punishment. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, it was, uh, was it last year? No, it was two years ago, right? Yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, Mike was talking shit to me about the draft, and he was just like, oh, you you think you're going to even get out of last place? I was like, I was like motherfucker, not only am I going to get out of last place, I'm going to beat you. And he's just like, oh, yeah? I was like, let's put our money where our mouth is. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mike was like, yeah, right. Because I mean, he was talking shit real bad. He's like, he's like, you're not I even was. gonna get out of last place. I was like, Bitch, my movies haven't even come in yet. And, I, uh, I pulled, I pulled it out, and I just, I like stuck it firmly on his face. It was just like, no, yeah, really, you really, you really think you're gonna, you think you're gonna get out of last place? Yeah. And I said, it's gonna be a dick on your forehead in a minute. <laughs> so, I, so I told, I said, I said, all right, Mike, all right, let's put, let, all right. Let's put your money where your mouth is. I'll tell you what. It won't even be that I have to get out of last place. I was like, I'll beat you. I was like, but it's just you and me. I don't have to come in first place. You don't have to come in first place. I just have to do better than you or you have to do better than me. (laughs) And the loser. I flew a little too close to the sun, didn't I? (laughs) The loser between the two of us would have to would have to draw an L on their forehead for the whole show. Oh right? shit! So the show began. I I won. I kicked Mike's ass in that one. And uh, actually, I don't even know how much I won by. I know I I, I was higher than him. And uh, he drew a big old L on his forehead right at the beginning of the show and had to wear it the nice. whole time. It was awesome. Yep. <laughs> 
and I was ready to do it too because I was just like, you know, fuck, I'll, I'll shit talk. Let's go. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was funny. So anyway, that that was a good one. Um, but here, let me let me pull it up now. Do you guys? I'm gonna just pull it up for, so the audience can see it because that's kind of the way I have it. Um, I share if you want to look at it on Facebook or however you want to take a look at it, or, or if you just want to. I mean, I know you saw it earlier, so let me uh, draft. There we go. There we are. So you're posting it for everyone else. Okay. Yeah, everyone can see this now. Um, All right. As a matter of fact, I think. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so. Um, let me open it up on my computer so I can take a look. Uh, it looks like... Uh, I mean, I, look, everything was looking good until week 10. I mean, I was on top <laughs> of the world on yeah. week 10. That's all I want to say. You, you, dude, you stand a chance. You you could still win? I don't... I don't know. I don't see it? Uh, what is... All right, so... Uh, what we've got right now is uh, Mike right. Myler in first place with yep. uh, 729 million, if I'm seeing yep. that correctly. That's correct. And uh, it, it, Pete, if you can uh, pull up something, because I'm just looking at that, uh, pull up what movies he has that's propelled propelled him. I believe he had. Oh, I can tell you, uh, I got it right here. I got it right here. Yeah. Wonder he Woman. Wonder Spider-Man, Woman has. Right? Wonder Woman. Oh, okay. Sorry. Do, do you want to know or not? <laughs> I do. <laughs> You're asking I do. me. Okay. Wonder Woman has him. All right. So, all right. Let's start with his his whole number. His his whole set here. So he has the Circle, which is is petered out. It's already out of movie theaters. Uh, that made him twenty million. Wonder Woman has him at three hundred eighty-one million. That's a big fucking winner there. That's um, a Wonder Woman. Cars three has one hundred and forty million, and Despicable Me one hundred eighty-eight million. That's got him at a total of yeah, uh, four hundred and or no, seven hundred and twenty-nine million. Fucking kicking right. ass. Now, now, uh, do do that with me. Do that with you. All right. So, Mike, <laughs> you are do me like that. Do me like that. Do me like that. <laughs> All right. So, Mike, Mike, you are Kafus. All right. Sorry. Uh, you got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy got you three hundred eighty-seven million. Yeah. Um. King Arthur, which is gone, is thirty nine okay, million. Dump. Yeah. Snatched, yeah. gone, forty six yeah. million. Captain Underpants, seventy one million. It's about to be gone. Rough Night, yeah. gone, seventeen million. And you've got Dunkirk coming up, which is going to be a big winner for you, I think. Yeah, that'll be my Oscary possibility. Yeah. You're right, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Jack, Jack, you got. So Alien Covenant, which is out of theaters, uh, seventy four yeah. million. Baywatch, fifty eight million. That yeah. between the two of them, I'm really surprised. I mean, that they yeah, both they both perform lower than I would have thought. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, they're both lower than I would have thought. Uh, you've got Baby Baby Driver. Oh, that's mine. Oh shit! Wait a minute. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, that no. doesn't fix that. I'm sorry. It's it's an Excel thing. It, it's the screen was split. My bad. Um, uh, yeah, you've got okay. So then you've got emoji, you got Atomic Blonde, Emoji Movie, and The Dark Tower yet to hit theaters. So you've got three three movies to make some money. Yep. Um, I know you're counting on Emoji Movie, but I think Atomic Blonde and Dark Tower are going to make you some money. I don't know how yeah. much, but not enough. Gonna, not enough but to get it, you out of it, last it'd place. Be good. No. God, who knows? Maybe somebody will take a shit and I'll. Who knows? You never know. Gogs, uh, he's got Fate of the Furious, which is done. That was $226 million. Transformers Last Night, $125. Uh, Baby Driver, $73. War for the Planet of the Apes, opening weekend of 57 And he's so got ba- the Hitman's Baby Bodyguard. Baby Driver. Day. Baby Driver only did 73 I have heard nothing but good about that movie. Oh, yeah, I've heard good stuff. Yeah, It's unfortunate. That happens, though, as we know. Yeah, that does happen. And then me... Um, I got Pirates at 170 million. Uh the Mummy at 79 and that mm, god that one really hurt me cuz mm. I I oh god they couldn't make 100 million with that. Um <laughs> it it comes at night 14. It's and I can't believe that's still in the theaters. Uh it's made 14 million. I've been at the 14 million mark with that since we hit 12. You, what did you pay for that? Uh I can tell you. Hold on. Uh I paid 3. All right. Well, yeah, that's still a loss. <laughs> yeah, still a- <laughs> Spider-Man: Homecoming is at two hundred and eight and still going strong. Oh, that was yours. That, that was wonder. I forgot who had that. And uh, Valerian is going to hit next weekend. Oh, wait a minute! I don't know how that, that one's going to do. That's I saw the previews for that. I don't know. 
it looks awesome, but it's uh, all right. My predictions. All right, here, here we go. Here's my predictions. Uh, Pirates is going to make me maybe another three million tops. Uh, Mummy is not going to make any more. That's going to be gone mm-hmm. from the theaters next week. I guarantee you. That was a big flop. Yeah, it was. It comes at night. Has got to go. That's. I mean, I can't believe that's still in the theaters. That's not going to make me anything more. Spider Man is going to do another hundred. 125 million. I, I think more. it comes at night. The porno is going to do better. Than... <laughs> right, exactly. I think okay. Spider Man will will hit in the 350 ish mark. I, yeah, I would hope. Because yeah, yeah. I mean, we're looking at Guardians at 387 and Wonder Woman at at 381. All the projections are saying that uh, Spider Man is going to overtake uh, Guardians. And uh, really, I, I, well, yeah, I, I would can like see that. that. I, I would like that. that. That's going to bring in a different kind of crowd, too. OK, yeah. well, raise your yeah. hand if you saw both. Who saw Guardians and Spider-Man? I only saw one. OK, I saw both. So, Pete. Yeah. In it, in it, it just as, as an honest just to pick one. What do you think? Which one edged edges the other one out? In my opinion or money wise? No, in your opinion, just okay. as, a, as a general, you know, for your taste. In I. Movies. I liked them both for different reasons, but yeah. God damn it. Um, I enjoyed Spider-Man more, but Boo. We, can, but we can go now. We can go into why I, I, I have no, my reasons and we will. But but and that's all I wanted was your yeah. was your baseline answer, because I, I, I know you. I had a feeling that you were going to say that. And I agree. And I'm we're on the same page with that. And I can't exactly tell you why it just had. Uh, I think it had that first, even though it's a, a remake of a remake, but it still it had that first punch. And Guardians of the Galaxy had to had the expectation of being better than itself. Or Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two had the mm-hmm. expectation of having to do better than itself. I don't know if it did. Uh, I liked it. It was very good. I mean, we're I'm taught we're we're splitting hairs at this point, and we're, we'll get into one of the reasons why when we we're going to spoil that a little bit later. But yeah, that said, I have to think that Spider-Man: Homecoming just edged it out. I mean, oh, I'm, we're talking by a few points, but I think for that, it's going to do at least as good in the draft, at least as good as. Hey, um, I hope so. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. Hey, considering, I think, c- dude, I, I think Valerian is going to do. 75 million. I, I bet it doesn't break 100. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, it's it really depends. It could go either way. Could go could. either way on that. We'll see. We'll see. But it's come on man, it's 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 a it's a French film, so it's got that foreign taste to it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh so it's going to be a little off like off what Americans usually do. It if I was getting worldwide, I bet it's going to fucking rock worldwide. When you yeah. talk about European, I think it's going to yeah. blow the fucking doors off of most European superhero off the European market for superhero stuff. But I think here in America, and that's the only that's all we're counting is domestic. I think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna do super great. And I, you know, if I'm Luke Besson, the guy who made the movie, I'm not worrying about my American audience at all. I mm-hmm. want them to to just make up like the the taxes on it. You know what I mean? Because I know yeah. you know, and it's gonna it's gonna fucking smoke every movie in France. Like every yeah. fucking French movie this year is going to be blown out of the water by the profits it makes. Yeah, quite possibly. Now, check this shit out. I was going to have a little bit of a eyewitness report of how um, – which one was it? Of how uh, Planet of the Apes was going to be because my youngest son went um, to the movies with his friend and uh, check this shit out. Now, have either of you ever gone to the movies – and they actually, the projector broke, and they had to give you a refund. That has never happened to me. It never happened to anyone I ever knew. No. <laughs> and, it, and it happened to him. Damn. Yeah. 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 That is a weirdo. Weird. That is a weird one. That's the story he told you while they went to go do something else. Yeah. That's how, yeah, I uh, wish. That's how I they. Wish. Uh, that's how they went away for three hours and don't have a receipt. Yeah. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> and one of them was limping. Oh, the oh, projector what? broke. The film broke. We couldn't yeah. believe it. Oh, okay. the, the, the film caught on fire. Can you can you believe no. that? No, uh, he's you know, we're talking about he's uh, 13. His biggest thing is, yes, I get to go out and I get to go to the movies. He hasn't uh, gotten to that point where it's like, ah, screw the movies, man. Let's lie and say we're going to the movies so we can do something else. <laughs> he hasn't it. gotten to that point yet. All right, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I keep track of I keep track of this whole movie thing like down to like like uh, Rain Man level stuff. Um, so so here, here's what's interesting. So I keep track of movies that are still in and movies that are that are, that are gone. Like once once they leave the box office, because box office the box office draft will stop track stop tracking them when they officially leave the the movie circuit, whatever that circuit is. And I guess this counts for dollar movies and everything, because I've seen movies go fucking for just like limp along forever and some of them will be doing okay and then for whatever reason they'll just they'll pull it i guess they pull it from the theaters for economic for some whatever reason movie magic reason but like <laughs> king arthur was in the theaters for one two three four five weeks and it's gone so wow. in week 11 <laughs> it, it it ran from week seven to re- week 11 and then they, they pulled it um I got rooked. Snatched. Uh, same amount of time. It started the same weekend and was pulled the same weekend. And it's funny because there's three movies on our list that were pulled that same weekend. And Snatched did better it, than and King Arthur. All three of them. Yeah, a little bit. All three of them were your movies. So King Arthur, Snatched, and Rough Night. And Rough Night, dude, Rough Night was in the theaters for two weeks and they pulled it. Wow. Wait, but was is that that movie about the dog who was in King Arthur's Court Rough Night? Oh. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Whoa. Uh, oh, oh god. Oh, it hurts. Oh, oh, See, I can hurt you from behind the camera. So, so uh Alien Covenant had a fucking tiny run. That that ran dude week 7 to week 13 pulled it. it um, but you still did 74 million. So, yeah, but that, that I should have made more. Well, but I Jack guess did it's, 74 million, but it's a it's that whole uh, I guess R movie thing. Like R movies, that's why they don't do as many R movies because they don't make as much money because you can't take your kids and shit to them. And I don't I know. Guess. That's why the Emoji Movie will be the greatest movie ever made. <laughs> it's for it's... kids. It's for pets. It's for old people. It's for the dead. It's yeah. for everyone. Everyone right. ever will see this movie. The, the you know how when you die and uh, the Mormons come and reverse baptize you. Uh, so I, the, the, did you know that phenomenon? That's how it's nope. going to work with this movie too. The dead people are all going to see it post mortem. It's going to be the greatest movie ever made. Are they going to put dollars in? Put dollars into so. the movie. De- the dead people that are uh, risen. Are they going to have dollars? Well, I don't know. They, yeah. they vote every four years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not an attorney uh, or or a necromancer, so I don't know. But yeah. well, we're gonna have to find out because I mean, you know, Jack, if you have the dead, uh, the dead pool, as it were, uh, you may win the draft. So we got to know right now, Pete. Are we gonna? I'm dead I'm having dollars? a meeting with the Russian lawyer later this week. I'll let you know how it goes. Right. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Just just as long as you you then later say. Oh no! I never met with any rush. I don't. I don't know what you're talking what? about. Fake news. Fake news. Fake there was 15 news. people there. Fake news. Fake wouldn't news. it be great? Wouldn't it be great if we got along with the Russians? I'm just saying, wouldn't it be great? You know, I mean, they sent I, me an email. You wouldn't believe how nice it was. Okay. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so um, just, that's all I'm saying. Wouldn't it be great? Yeah. Yes, it would be great. Um. <laughs> Who is the guy that's in there from uh, – shit, he's a comedian. He's from um, the uh, – that HBO show, um, uh, uh, Silicon Valley. I'm trying to think of his name. Um, shit, uh, I don't know. Fuck, I can't think of – but anyway, he's he's in the movie, so he might save it. In know? which movie? The Emoji in, movie? In, in the Emoji movie, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Pete, what's your favorite emoji? Uh, I, I don't know. I like the snark one. That's the one I use the most. <laughs> that is so fucked up because for real, for real, I use that one too. But yeah, you never use that with me. Yeah, well. You're I always just, using like, the, the hate one. And the, yeah, the hate one. <laughs> <laughs> the red one with the... Yeah. yeah. 
I don't know. Is it show night? Because if it's show night, that might be my favorite one. I don't know what I would do without the middle finger emoji. I swear to God. I, I, I think I have that on speed dial. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, all right, so... So, uh, oh yeah, and the circle, the circle lasted four weeks. Fate of the Furious got a fucking sweet long run. Way too much, way too much of a good run. Yeah, but um, it did well too. It did. It, it, it did way better than I thought it was going to do. And I saw it, and it was it was good eye candy. You know, mm. uh, I can't. I mean, it was okay. It, it it had some unpredictable twists, even though it was outrageous. It just right. it still had some unpredictability, but then a lot of predictability as well. So here, here's my my guess, and I, I posted this on Facebook earlier. So um, so if you, if you're following us on Facebook, you'll you'll be familiar with this. But I really think that this uh, this go, it's going to be Myler and Mike fighting for a top spot. I and I when I went through it because I spent some time today looking at. Uh, what the projections were, and I went and did like a box office pro and looked at their predictions mm-hmm. of what movies we were going to make and stuff, and just looking at it and watching the trend in the in the graph because you know because I have a graph to work from, and just watching the trends of how each movie was was earning, mm-hmm. and um, you and Myler come to eight hundred and six million both of you, so from what I was reading and from the best guess that I have, you two are neck and neck for first place. So. My best prediction is is that you two will fight for first place. I have I I, I don't know who's gonna win, but I it'll mean be the, the two pretentious the pretentious uh, Oscar shitheads have not had any movies this summer. Right. That's what I'm saying. Dunkirk is their movie. This yeah. is the non-genre movie. This is the movie that that uh, you know all the like people who are not into like superheroes and all that shit. Yeah. This is gonna be their movie. It's their that's time. That's the uh, that's the grandpa. Hey. I'm gonna yeah. take the grandkids to see this because you know what I mean. It's gonna be yeah. that movie, right? Where everyone over seventy at the trailer park's going to. Yeah, that's yeah. And it's gonna and the Jay Libby's the people who worship old people. Because you know, you ever notice that how Jay Libby worships old people? He loves like like yeah, back in their day. Because it's not even back in my day. I, their day was even better than my day. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know if this is an improper time for a segue, but it's kind of like Jay Libby. Just prefers all male doctors. Oh, okay. Are we done with the draft? Do you want to? I mean, I think we could we could talk about this shit all day. And I think you're I think you're right, Mike. I think uh, unless you got anything else to say, I'm good. I, I'm I'm everything's performing even better. Somebody than call I a would. doctor. Uh, I hear a siren. Somebody call the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coming look. to take Mike away. All right, so look, we're we talked about this before the show. We're gonna touch on it. We're not gonna get all crazy political or PC or any of that kind of bullshit. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit, breaking news, not breaking for anyone on Facebook, but breaking news in the world in general, Doctor Who was chosen. And Mike? What? What's the doctor? Uh, the doctor, it's it's Dr. She. Yeah, Dr. She, yeah. yeah. Dr. She. I wish I had it pulled up right now. Give me three seconds. I can all pull right. it up. So, so the internet, the internets are abuzz with news about the doctor be, uh, being regenerated, re, regenerated, regenerated <laughs> into reincarnated. I'm trying to make Jody, it two, yeah. two Jody words. Whitt- Jody yeah, Whittaker to be the thirteenth yeah. doctor. Ooh, women then, thirteen. So, so not lucky, not just, lucky at all. I, I, I personally have no issue with it being a woman. Matter of fact, I, I, there's, I don't particularly. Uh, I'm not really into the choice that they made, but I don't really know her. So I don't really have too much of an opinion about her. I've never seen anything that she's ever done. Um, and I don't really like Doctor Who. So that that's a factor. But uh, from back in the days when I used to watch Doctor Who, uh, back in my day, uh, uh, I, I would back have, when Peter I, I, was I, Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> I would have I would have liked um, either Jamie Murray, if you know who she is. Or um, Claudia Black, you know from uh, from mm-hmm. Farscape. I thought she, I think she would have made a great doctor. Um, now, it's the internet would have you believe that there's all this male hate that that the the, the fan, all the fanboys are flipping out because they made a woman, right? But I'm gonna tell you right now, of all the posts I've seen, it's like this many dudes who don't who who don't like it. It's like mm-hmm. almost every fucking person is like, "Yay, finally a woman." I'm seeing as much hate for it not being a black woman or not being a ginger. There's this fucking trend. Oh, still not a ginger, right? 
as, as I'm well, seeing for it, it they not being get a man. The back of the line, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw someone posted. They said, "They said uh, I can't know my doctor can't be a ginger because my doctor has a soul." I'm like, "Oh my god!" Uh, but I think the the not a ginger is a joke. I, th- I think that's just a, a like a hashtag uh, haha. Doctor Who. Every time he regenerates, has always said, "Oh, not a ginger again." He always wanted <laughs> to be a ginger. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's okay, the I don't really watch the show. So, okay. So, uh, Jack, you uh I don't you don't strike me as a, a staunch Whovian. I I am. I'm a, I'm a fan of Doctor Who. Okay. Especially right. the reboot. Cool. Yes. Okay. Um I don't really uh I don't really foresee a problem. It doesn't really matter if it's a woman or a guy. The the writing it, it's going if it's going to be good, it's going to be good. If it's not going to be good, it's not good. It is what it is. Woman or not. I mean, you know, <sighs> There's always been nothing but male doctors. Why not? I, I, I this to me isn't even an issue. Like right. this is so like the people who have issue with this. It's like three guys, and I'll bet you two of them just want to get uh, attention. Like, do you know what I mean? Like they don't even care. Right. They just know they're just being contrarian just to get everybody all hot yeah. and bothered. And so I wasting you know a breath defending you know this is ridiculous. Yeah, she's a woman. Fucking deal with it or don't watch the show. Don't right. vote with your with your time in your wallet and shut the right. fuck up. You know what? I see a lot of stuff I don't like. I just shut the fuck up and keep going. That's what you need to do. Just shut yeah. the fuck up. The right. views expressed here are exactly the views of all of the panelists and go directly yes. to Jay Libby. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what, though? Hold on. I'm going to defend Jay. I'm going to totally defend him, okay? Oh, he God. took a lot of shit. Because, because I'll tell you why, and it's it's a point I wanted to make. He took a lot of sh- he took a lot of shit from people apparently, and I read his posts about it. He's this is what he said. He's like, I'm not happy about it being the doctor. That's it. Mm. That's it. That's all he said, right? Oh, and people are well, giving him shit right. about that. I'm like, you know what? Fuck off. He can be unhappy, but he's not like saying that she won't be a good doctor. He's not saying, you know, he's he's not being a dick about it. He's, all he said was, I'm not impressed. Yeah. And you know what? That's fine. That's maybe to you, a doctor and, you know, maybe to him, the doctor is, is just a man always has been in his mind. I mean, change, change is difficult for some people and I, okay, that's fine, but it's not worth people giving a bunch of shit. And I think there's a lot of people out there who, who just, they, they knew that a woman might be cast and they were just, they were just gearing up for it. I can't wait for all the hate. Cause then I'm going to hate on them. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're mm-hmm, ready yeah. to be offended. I've got my fence flag up and I'm ready to throw that motherfucker. Come on. I give me my- a reason to throw the flag. Uh- I got my you know? ticket for the next hate train. Got my yeah, ticket exactly. for the next hate train. Whatever it is, I'm on it. Right. I think there's a lot of that. Yeah. They should have gotten. They should have gotten a transvestite, uh, someone who identifies as like a brony, transvestite, like the the strangest thing they could for Doctor Who, and then that way <laughs> no one could say anything. The politically correct field would be just stunned. Like right. a Muslim cross dressed. You know, like, it's, it's <laughs> like they just like the, their brains would just fry out. Like they wouldn't know who to defend. What? Right. Wait, what? We can't say anything about this. Right. Cross-dressing clown, baby, dinosaur, midget. Muslim, midget. You know what I mean? Like who's deaf? Just, right. right. <laughs> and then, like, and then the invention. The then who wouldn't it? watch that show with that? Right. Good God, that'd be the best show ever. That's what they. Well, should. they couldn't <laughs> make him deaf. I'm sorry, they couldn't make him deaf because if he was deaf, he'd be Doctor What? Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Doctor What? No. Okay. Hey, don't right. worry. They're not listening so, to this show. Let me let me <laughs> just say that right. if anybody, and I was going to ask you about this, Jack. Anybody who watches the show these past two seasons, uh, or three actually, you had to have known that this was they were kind of setting the stage for this because yeah. they made the master a female, yep. and it worked for me. And I started thinking in my mind, well, why couldn't the doctor? And I, I'm sure this is part of their staging, you know, for sure, the general. Sure. And yeah. I just went, why couldn't the the doctor be a female? And I think it's perfect. And and besides which, uh, uh what's her face? Um. Oh God. Song, song, song. River song. Yeah, river song. Don't even watch the was, show. Go ahead. Yeah, you <laughs> did. You watched it for a while. I've was seen it? A was it? Of them. Was a female? And yeah. uh, you know, I just think that you could do a lot of interesting things like with with it yeah. as well. Do you guys think? I, do you think? Wait a minute, real quick. Do you guys think this is a plot by the master to make the doctor weaker? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. It was a joke. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Jack. Sorry. Yes. 
<laughs> Good Pete. The Sorry. master for one week out of the month though really hides. <laughs> he really goes underground because shit gets wild, man. Jeez, so there was shit gets wild. There was just an episode that was, where the master was crying, and and it's all about you know oh the doctor's been trying to, which is a little weird keeping the master locked up in a cage, quote unquote, but. Uh, and then letting her out, and then she's starting to feel things and feel empathy and sympathy and things. And I did have to say that, that you said that, Jack. I did have to think once when she was crying. I was like, what is this? What am I starting to feel? I'm like, ah, you just got your period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, here we go. All right, enough of that. That's no, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> that, that, that's what I, I said. I think the only way I could have been really upset by the casting is if it was like Sarah Palin. That would be really the most. <laughs> upsetting doctor who choice but i don't think yeah I, yeah, yeah I, I i don't know this chick she's some bbc you know how they like you know right she's a bbc superstar chick, chicks love bbc from what i understand um so she's gonna be on the, I, I know nothing about her i'll give it a chance who cares like what's the right. worst that's gonna happen yeah well you know what the worst is gonna happen is they'll bring back peter moffat to write more yeah. shitty fucking shows uh, um <laughs> actually that's Honestly, just goddamn get some good writers. Like, I watched the Eccleston episodes and I liked them. I actually liked Eccleston and I liked the the ex the, that series with him. Um, and I, I watched some of Tenant and it, it was okay. But the stories, I, I don't know when he took over or what, what. It doesn't matter. But I felt I really felt the story started to fucking go off the rails during Tenant's run, and I I just stopped watching it. I was just like, this is just too it's too goofy for me. I just like it's just it's like a cartoon, you know, some of them. And I just. I, 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 the show lost me. So, hey, put good writers on. I don't give a fuck who plays the doctor. Some of Bin Laden yeah. could play the doctor. You get a good writer in there. I don't give a fuck. Of course, that would um, be really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie who? Zombie who, yeah. Um, all right, well, that's all we had to say about that, that yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that. that was for good, you. Good luck. Maybe. Good luck. Good luck, lady friend. Be a good doctor. Let's see what you got. That's right. And don't, but all I'm going to say is oh, for this is please don't do some stupid like, oh, now and her companion is going to be some dumb jock, you know, or some dumb like uh, handsome. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that either, though. Like, still make the they, they, they won't. They won't. Yeah, I, I don't think so. No, they'll, they'll, it'll be interesting to see what the companion does. Like what? I, I, again, I don't follow the show. What, what is his what was his? What was the last companion? Was it a, a woman, a male? Uh, what a lesbian. It? A black lesbian. Yeah, that's lesbian, right. I remember seeing something about yeah. that. Was it mm -hmm. Joe or Billy or what the Bill. fuck was the name? Bill. Bill. Okay. Right. Um, she was awesome. So, I loved her. Okay. So is Bill still? Not my favorite, Not my is favorite Bill, but I still love her. Is she yeah. still the companion? Is she the transition companion? So, yeah, so far, yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't Bill seen probably the last two episodes. I'm, I'm behind, Jack. I don't know. So it'll probably be a couple gals running around the universe. It'd be cool. Yeah, yeah maybe. Couple of chicks messing up, um, traipsing about time. <laughs> right, there we go. Fantastic. All right, so Jack, you said something when we were talking uh, prior when we got the I when we got the idea, the, the grand idea for this show because it's such a brand new idea. Uh, that you were you were pissed off about all the reboot, reboot this, reboot that, reboot something else, and making something new. And um, yeah, yeah. I just like with the Spider-Man, we were talking about who was going to see it. And I just I'm, I've seen so many Spider-Man movies. I think this is going to be the seventh one in my lifetime. Yes. Um, and I'm just I'm done with it. Like I'm, I'm over it. I'm over that. I'm over zombies. Um, and I'm over Dracula slash vampires. Like I'm just over it. Like it, 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 there's been it's a total oversaturation of our psyche. It's a total saturation of our culture and I'm just, I'm, I'm, how about something new? Can we come right. up with something new? But I think and that's what drives me. And that's why I know everybody's like jerking off in spades about this fucking um, Spider-Man movie. I don't care. I've seen so many of them. I know the story yet. He's Peter Parker. He gets bit by a radioactive spider. He slings some webs. He makes some comments. And now he's like, now he's a teenager in the teenage world. And he's got to take his driving test, which suspiciously looks like an Audi commercial. <laughs> and th that's the only part of the movie I've seen. And I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like, I have no interest. Like, I wish I did. I wish I was like, oh, wow, I can't wait to see this. I'm done. It's the same meal just 
reheated over and over and over. I'm just like, oh, wow, it, meatloaf again? It tastes so good. Yeah, it's a fine. good meal. That's it's fine. A There's good guys, meal. when I was a waiter, there were people that would come in the restaurant every day and order the same thing every day. And every day of their life, they ate the same fucking thing every day. And that's great. If you're that person, have at it. That This movie is for you. But I just don't get... I, I need variety. I need something more. I'd spice it up. Make make Spider-Man, like, I don't know. The high school shit. Like, they, it's a total Twilight thing, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's more like uh, Breakfast Club, but, uh, you know. Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something from the 80s, Jack. Something right. I identify with. No, I, I got you. Who the I fuck got it? It's, it's like a stubborn old Model T when it won't turn over in the cold weather. Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> just like it, that, right, Mike? Except yeah, you get that old crank, and you get that crank going, and it just won't but, turn over. Because but it's this Spider Man turns over. That's what I'm trying right. to tell you. But we're gonna, hey, no more about Spider Man. Let, I mean, let's just talk about it in general, because we're gonna, right, just so everybody knows, we're gonna spoil Spider Man at the end of this. All right, so yeah. keep watching. Yeah. We'll let you know don't, when it's gonna happen. Don't leave yet. Yeah, yeah, we'll let you know. Not um, yet. but uh. You know, talking about the the problem with rebooting in Hollywood and all that shit. It's the same fucking reason we can't get other things in Hollywood that that I would that I would like to see. I mean, Jack, I'm with this you. This is why we can't have nice things. It's why we this can't have nice things. I, I am with you. I love seeing new shit. Like, you know, but the problem is, is that Hollywood has gotten so fucking money hungry. Um, I was reading st- somewhere that that Hollywood has this. It has this plan, and this is kind of part of the reason why they pull movies from theaters and stuff, because there's, you know, keeping a movie in the theater costs the company money in some way. Like they make money, but if it's not making enough money, they lose money because the the theaters don't want to hold it because they're not making money and it's holding a spot that could make more money. But movies kind of have to make their first, have to make what was put into them in the first weekend, right, or the first week, or they're considered a failure. So the domestic box office gross has to be what the movie was budgeted for or it's considered a financial Mm. failure unless unless somehow the fucking thing just keeps making that every weekend like so so for example wonder woman wonder woman kind of could be considered falling into that category except that it didn't make all the money in the first weekend but by the second weekend it had made over the money and the next weekend it fucking did it again you know it just kept making money 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 so they're very they're very strict with this stuff. Now, I remember when we were kids, because we were all fairly old, um, close to the same age. Yeah, back we, by Model T. Yeah, 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 back in the Model T days. But back in like, you know, like I know it goes back even further, but let, let's just take like the, the late 70s into the 80s. When movies were in the theater, they stayed in the theater for like all summer. Like a summer movie would come out and it would stay in the sure. fucking theater all fucking summer long. Like I think Jaws was in the was in the theaters. Um like the entire like like six months or some shit like that. Star Wars was in the theaters for like six months. Like when movies and they didn't release nearly as many movies as they release now. Um, a movie was a long term investment. Like when they yeah. put it out, people would go back and they would see it again and again, and the thing would run it and and it was okay to make your money back over the long haul. Um, and even then, further back than that, in the fifties and the sixties, they would have first run movies and then they would have old standby classics in the second theater. So in, in like the 50s, you could go see the new movie coming out or you could go see Wizard of Oz again. You could mm-hmm. go see King Kong again and watch the news and stuff like that. They would have those in there, too. So uh, there was a theater in Baltimore that uh, they played from, uh, I think it was 25 years. Every weekend they played the Wizard of Oz in this one theater um, huh. and, uh, and as well as, you know, the first run movies. And I remember when they shut down, and I was like, why? Who the fuck would go see that? And that's a reboot. That's the yep. original reboots right there. Just watch the same fucking thing over and over and over again. Like a right. kid in a Disney movie. And and theaters take a chance because there's so much brand recognition and stuff. It's a, it, And it ties in the same exact reason why you can't get different stars. Like, not only can we not get different fucking movies, we have to look at the same goddamn faces over and over and over again. Uh, and and faces launch movies. If Jennifer Lawrence is in a movie, if they attach her, they, and you talk about it, you see this in in when they're talking about how they make movies, we're gonna attach this actor to the movie. It's like, uh, you know, you're gonna have this meal, and you can you're gonna you're gonna get coke with it. And if you don't eat this, you can't have any coke. It's like fuck. Well, then I I really want coke with my dinner, so I guess I got to eat them fucking meatloaf, right? You know, um, 
so so stars drive movies and stuff, and it's why you know they had um, you know the Ghost in the Shell had to have uh, ScarJo had to have Scarlett Johansson, right? They couldn't have an Asian actress play that role, you know, because there was nobody famous enough to carry the movie and make the earning that they wanted to make off of it. She was part of the vehicle to drive that movie. She was part of the yeah. investment in the movie. Uh, and it's the same thing with like the same shit. You know, we're going to launch this new franchise. It's like, oh, I don't know. That's going to be a lot of money. And what if we don't make all of our money back in the first weekend? It's like, or we could like attach to this brand that everybody knows and they'll all go see it because he, 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 Spider-Man again, you know? Yeah. So well, that's what Pulp Fiction had to have. Uh, Pulp Fiction had that Bruce Willis in it, or else it wasn't going to get a wide appeal. So yeah. I mean, there was there. That's been a movie thing for forever. Yeah. Yeah, it's Star but it's, power. A, it's a pain in the fucking ass, but that's why it's we can't stupid. have yeah. Jack. That's why we can't have nice things. I, I feel pe- yeah. People are the dumb, like me. Yes. I'm really looking forward to Valerian. I mainly, and some of it's because it looks good, but but some of it, and it could suck. It might suck. I don't know, but. It's just different. It's a new thing. It's brand new. It's nothing, you know, it's not tied into anything else. It's this brand new sci-fi thing. And, you know, it'd be really cool if it took off and, and they could they could make maybe one or two more based around that, I guess. I don't know. Until I see it, I won't know for sure if it's well, You know it's based worthy. on a book. You, it's based on a book series, right? I know, I okay. know. It's, it's based on an old French book. Com- it's like yeah, a, a graphic novel from, something. like yeah, an yeah. old graphic novel. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, but, you know... Again, I think it's going to do terrible here in America. I, I, yeah. I guarantee you, it's not going to, it's not going to break a hundred million. Well, I will say, like David said, and it, it, we all agree that movies uh, are even more than ever a business than it has ever been. It always was about a business. It was always about getting investors to get you money so you can make a movie that you want to make, and that these investors trusted that it was going to, you know, pay out and they were going to get their money back and and then some. I think the problem now is that the expectation that how much money they want on their return is where the unfortunate thing lies, where, you know, you have to have Scarlett Johansson because she has to draw X amount of more people that wouldn't have seen it or appreciated it otherwise, or gone to see it otherwise. And that's just sad because someone else who may have been more appropriate, possibly, you know, someone of, uh, you know, Asian descent or somebody mm-hmm. else that would, you know, appropriate people in the movie. It could have been, it, it may have made it a better movie. So it would I did have not for- get to see that myself. Did anyone here see, uh, uh what the ghost in the show? Say? Yeah. Ghost in the show. Yeah. I saw, I saw, it was, it, did- I thought it was, it was, it was okay. I mean, all right, let me rewind it. It was a good movie. It was nowhere near as good as, as ghost in the shell, the original storyline, because they fucking threw in a whole bunch of Americanized story plot lines that, okay. you know, Some tropes they, and th- yeah, they, they Americanized it too much. Okay. I was like, oh, why? You know, same thing they did with the stoop with, with wanted, you know, not that that was Americanized, but they, they movieized it. The, so the, the movie wanted was based off a comic book series, but it had nothing to do with the fucking con. The comic book was awesome. It's one of my favorite comic books of all time. It was like six. It was, it was a mini series, only six episodes. And, um, they made a movie out of it and they changed everything about it. Everything that was important, everything that made it cool and unique. Mm -hmm. And they basically made a cookie cutter movie. This Mm -hmm. is the hero. And this is, you know, this is his journey. And then at the end he'll have, you know, he'll, he'll go down this path and then he'll come out with this. And here's the, Oh, the good, the guy you thought was the good guy is the bad guy. Oh yeah. Uh, Here we go. Common trope. Yeah. Surprise. Shocker. Right. Whereas in the comic, Dude, it didn't follow any of that shit. And it was just crazy. It was, it was insane. The comic was fucking insane. It was basically mm. the hero of the movie was a bad guy and he never stopped being a bad guy. Like the movie or the, the comic book was about villains. And I was just like, that's so fresh. But then, mm-hmm. you know, they go to a movie and it's like, oh no, he's the, he's going to be the good guy because we can't have a movie about, about a villain who's a hero. Come on. You know. That's schlock. Yep. That, but, was that on a western? Was that on a western type theme? No, no, it's superhero. Walker. It was a superhero. Oh, okay. And um, but but he was he was a super villain. Uh, the the premise. Okay, so the premise of the comic is that the there was superheroes and supervillains, just like Marvel, DC, whatever. But there was a different universe, right? And the villains got together and decided, you know, fuck these heroes, and they won. They killed them all. 
And then, then they got this interdimensional being, these this, this race of interdimensional beings, to make the entire populace forget that there ever were superheroes. And then they ran the world from behind the scenes. As that sounds like fans. Alex Jones. I think that's Alex Jones's exact theory. I'm not even joking. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that's, that's it. You heard it here first. Or, <laughs> or that's some Infinity Gauntlet level shit right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. But it was. It's just it, that's a really fucking slick premise, and mm. he was fighting like supervillains in this thing, like people with superpowers. Uh, they had a, <laughs> they had, they had a, a Superman like guy who was a villain, but it was more like Bizarro. So they had this Bizarro like Superman guy. And he was basically a, uh, he was called fuckwit and he was a, uh, a mentally challenged Superman. So imagine somebody with Superman's abilities, but severely mentally challenged. Oh God. <laughs> so uh, bam, they, had a, bam. they had a bad guy, one of the bad guys, I forget his name, but he was literally, uh, uh, like, you know, like, you know, Bobby Drake, the ice man can turn into ice. And you've got the human torch that could turn into fire. This guy mm. turned into shit. And he could like, nice. like shoot Get a portrait. shit at you. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was it was such a they killed him with bleach. So he oh, got he got two is... containers of bleach and jumped on the guy and started pouring bleach all over him. The guy's like, ah it was Definitely a great comic. up your alley. That yeah, is it's... way up your alley. All right, so um uh I gotta I hate to do this. Go ahead. But I gotta say something that uh David said in the chat room, "Hey Dave, Great. good to see you in there." And that is because I know this is this is against <laughs> what Jack is telling talking about, but at the same time, like David says, I want to see the Buck Rogers reboot. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. want, I want my Buck Rogers meal. I want I that meal again. I saw that. I don't like Buck Rogers. I I love. I Buck did Rogers. when that show in the eighties with B B B B Yeah, that's the that thing was. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was Look. all about it. I thought it was awesome because I, I, you know, I was jonesing for Star Wars, and it was like off-brand Star Wars is basically yeah. what it was. And then, and uh, yeah, but you, you don't want you don't want to have a taste of that. Just no. you know, it's like Look, I'm not be... saying it shouldn't exist. I'm not saying I don't. I, I think we should ban it. I'm just saying I'm not going to get excited about it. That's all. Right. Oh, yeah. Have your Buck Rogers. That's like a 1930s comic book serial. Yeah, hey, man, have at it. Yeah. How about it? Hey, get into the uh, wild adventures of Little Orphan Andy while you're at it. That's <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Little House on the Prairie. We, you know, get, get oh, crazy with it. What if Annie? Ooh, Dick Tracy. Had, like, remember, super remember the powers? reboot? Mike, go back in your time machine. Do you remember the reboot of Dick Tracy? Oh, how when, awesome uh, that with, was! Uh, yeah. No, I don't remember that part. No. Yeah. Bad boy, boy did it. Bad boy did it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's it's funny. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna commit my own heresy here, but I honestly don't really want them to reboot Flash Gordon. You know, again, they're they're talking about it; it's in the works. But I, I honestly, yeah. as much as I love the the '80s campy fucking thing, um, I, honestly, I, I don't want them to reboot it. It's, it's gonna su it's not gonna be good. It's I mean, how how can it be good? Uh, what? The new Flash Gordon is going to be an effeminate Asian man. I didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> 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 He's got e Kate. It's Fresh Gordon. Fresh He's Gordon. Off in a fresh. All right, all right. <laughs> Pete, Pete. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you two. No. No. Bad. Now. Yeah. Ming, Ming the Merciless? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. All right, we're bad. Go ahead, Mike. I'm what sorry. if uh Disney got the rights to it? Because Disney is on fire, man. They have mm. they know what to do. What if they I think I think the world the, the last thing the world needs is more Disney movies. Well, I, I hate to tell you this there, Jack, but uh everything Marvel and everything Star Wars is Disney. Yeah, yeah well, I know. Jack why doesn't do, like, why do we yeah. need another one? Exactly. Why do we need right. Because I personally <laughs> They're good, it. but why do we need more? Good to be you know what? view a different take. I don't honestly I'm am I like am I the only person on this panel that's not excited about Star Wars? Like anything Star Wars anymore? I'm excited for Star Wars. Okay. Right. I I'm think I am. Yeah, I think I I'm the only one. Like I don't I don't hate don't give 
nerds of the world, please. I'm not hating on Star Wars. Not hating on it. I like it. I do. I'm just not. Nerd, please. I'm not just not that excited about it, okay? It's not, it's not like, ooh, Last Jedi. <laughs> you know? I, but I do want to say, I will go see it, and I'll probably enjoy it. But I'm not, I'm not super excited about it. It's not my, not my go-to geekery. All right, all right. I got a question for you. Yeah. What movie are you most excited about for that may be coming within, well, I mean, in the next uh, three to six or a year? Fuck, I don't know, man. That That's tough. I... The Fresh Gordon reboot. Fresh <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> His weakness what? is driving. Flash dance, Gordon. Oh my Flash God! Dance. Yes, Dave. He, so what about that? What if you take two movie, uh, you know, Ooh. empires and just just force them together like uh, like bad colors of play doh and just just Flash Gordon and Flash dance. Million dollar baby driver. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I, I can't stop thinking about that every time I hear that. Like, yes. Um, I don't know. I think I think the the the. The Planet of the Apes that's coming out might be good. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm actually looking forward to Dunkirk. I think that's going to be fucking awesome. I am looking very much forward to that. Um, Wait, Quentin Tarantino. Huh? Yeah, that? I'm gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to contribute. Um, oh, nice, buddy. Yeah, you're nice. welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah, dude. I, I don't know. I, th- I think Infinity War is going to be good. I, I think yes. that th- I, I'm looking forward to it. I, mean, I have to admit, I'm looking forward to that. Um, Deadpool two. I'm looking forward to Deadpool two. All right, thank you. But God I mean, damn it, I, please don't fuck it up. I know, I know. I it is. I'd like I in my perfect in my world because you know Deadpool is like probably this. It is in my top five favorite movies of all time now. Right. Uh, in my world, the reason that they've had so many problems is because they want to get it so right that they don't give a shit if. They've already gotten to all the principal photography and they kept telling the guy, this is not what we want. No, no, no. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. No, this is not what we want. No, no, no. You got to trust. We got to trust me at the end. And this is from what I understand. I've been listening to the interviews and reading a lot of articles about why this happened. I can't remember the guy who they fired, uh, but they, they fired that guy. And it was like, no, we told you this isn't what we wanted. You wouldn't give it up. And now you're gone. And we're going to go back and we're going to change it. They're, I mean, wow. they were going back. And Sounds like an it. angry parent. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And I, I got to give them props. They're not like, oh, man, we shouldn't have done that. Oh, I hope it's going to be OK. No, no. I, I would like to think that the reason that they're doing that is because they're not going to compromise it. Ryan Reynolds is uh, he this is his passion. I've watched a lot of interviews with him and he said it is just it, it, he would he will play Deadpool till the end. He'll play Deadpool on Golden Deadpool Pond. Yeah. OK, nice. Like that he's fine with that. I don't know. You know, I think there's a Tyler Perry movie coming up next year. That- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. I don't know. Mom, Flash, mama, mama Flash got Gordon back- Mama House. Yeah. <laughs> Flash Gordon <laughs> Mama House. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking at a list of, of movies that are coming out, uh, up, coming up soon that they're talking about. And I'm honestly, I'm not seeing anything that's making me go, ooh, well, Infinity War. Yeah, sure. Listen- I want to see that. You, you've hit you've hit enough. I, you don't uh, look. You, you oh, passed. oh no You're no okay. no. You're, oh oh. Ready Player One. If they don't fuck it up. Oh good good okay Ooh. all right. How about you, Jack? Ready Player One is an original based What's on a book, but it's. What's it about? Oh, Ernie. Cl- all right, listen. First of all, Ernie Klein. You you got to read it. All right, Ready Player What's One. It's, it is a very good movie. Very good book, rather. It's Ugh, it's on right. audiobook if you want to listen to it, yeah. and it's yep. a good read. It's it's. What real... can you give me a synopsis? Can you tell me? Can you give oh, me a little more sure. than I got to read? It's the future, okay. Okay. Uh, the and in the future, there's this thing. It's you know what Second Life is. Mm. Are you familiar with that at all? all right, imagine Facebook, but you get to go oh, inside. Oh yes, yes, yeah. uh, the video game Second Life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So imagine there's a Second Life, but it's even more like immersive and then people can build their own worlds just like they can in there. virtual reality. It's a complete virtual reality. You put a headpiece on, you put on what's called a haptic suit so that you physically feel like you're in there. Um, And there's this guy, the richest guy in the world who creates this world that everybody's in now. People work in there. People do all their socializing in there. So imagine you could go to your job, right? Instead of getting in your car and driving to work, you jump into your suit and you go to work in this thing. Um, 
So the world is kind of falling to shit. It's like a like kind of like a post apocalyptic Earth, but not like anything really bad has happened. It's just more of this this shit overpopulation. It's decompensating into a dystopian. Yeah, yeah, okay. basically. And so most people find they just basically tune out of this world and go into that world, and it's a happier place, right? So that's where they they basically live most of their lives there because it's clean and it's nice there and everything. Uh, the, the guy who creates all this dies, and he sets out this gigantic like puzzle to solve in the game. And if you solve it, you can you can win his money. You you get to run the chocolate factory. Yeah, you basically Charlie and Chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you get to you get to run the yeah. chocolate factory. And so people and all three. Right. And people all over the earth are trying to solve this thing. And the guy had this super nostalgia for the eighties because apparently he was a little kid in the eighties. Um it's like Mike, Mike made like it. Like Mike. Yeah, he's, he, and he's got this super strong nostalgia for the 80s. So all the clues this contest is shit from the 80s, right? And so everything they do in the book trying to solve all this shit is stuff from the 80s. And it's a big, giant nostalgia trip for you. So as you're reading this, it's just like fucking yeah. dropping shit from the 80s left and right. Uh, but huh. it's also set in a, in a cool science fiction yeah. world. And there's also a lot of drama to it. So there's, there's, it's an action story. There's a lot of shit going yeah. on. It's, and, it's and it's really not o- good. It's not only I'm taking sold. place in the virtual world. There's real world stuff going on as well, and it 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 uh, it, it paces well, and it's a very very good book. I'm sold. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, that being said, yes, yes. Pete, you were ab- you're absolutely right. Uh, th- thank you for picking pointing that one out. Yeah, um, right. we are we're kind on, of we got, getting yeah. on time. So, do we want to bring up any television shows, or do we want to go straight to the uh, Spiderman or? <sighs> Any well, other movies? Uh, Jack, do you want? Jack, you, you said you saw. We caught up on Westworld. Do you want to talk about Westworld? I mean, we, you know, honestly, we don't even have to spoil Spider Man. We can just talk about that for a few minutes because I've got one little diatribe I want to do on it, and we can save it for the very end. It won't take long at all. I don't need to spend a whole lot of time on it. That's fine. No, no, we've no. already done the whole show on Westworld. I loved it. I thought it was great. We don't really have to talk about it other than it was fantastic. And if you want to go back and watch the uh, episode that we already did on it, that would pretty much sum it up. I do what did you like your, best about it? What was your bo- what would what did you like? There best? was oh, boobs. Oh, the boobs. Oh god, a lot of boobs. Oh, Lots so of boobs. boobs. Yes. Bloody boobs. boobs. That's good. All right, all right. Land of what? boobs. No, I liked everything. I liked the sci-fi aspect of it. I liked the the uh, the psychological part of it. The uh, bicameral bicameral mind stuff. I, well, I liked. Uh, I liked a lot of it. What was your take on? Uh, I, and I can't remember. You're more fresh on it. So the the uh, the black host. That was uh, did all that to to get out of the park, and and she's on the train ready to go, and then she decides not to, and she goes back. She now, goes back for her daughter. Yeah, right. What is your take on that? I think there's I think there's going to be something for a sequel for the next season. I think right. it's going to be like some big park battlefield where everyone's stuck in the park and the, the everyone's chasing everybody down, and she's going to try and find her daughter and escape. Do you think do you think ultimately she should escape or do you think that she should be a slave to her programming like it is insisted that she is like because remember they're saying she had she could not leave. They knew without beyond a shadow of a doubt they no matter how much she got onto the train that she was going to get back to the park. That was like a given. They knew that that necessarily. Well, that's what that's what I I understand. Not necessarily. That's what I want to balance out. I mean, I'm just curious. No, no, that's not her programming, though, Mike. Her programming, she was actually being programmed to leave the park. She had a subroutine. Did you catch that? Yeah. Yeah. She's actually, yeah. she would, no, but she wasn't being ordered to return. She was actually being ordered to leave. She broke her programming by coming back. Well, because, yes. well, she wasn't yes. being programmed to leave. She was. Yes, she was. Yes. The, well, she gave herself no. the free will. No, you are no, wrong. No, you're wrong. wrong. You are wrong. wrong. It was, that was all that shit. Everything she did up until the point where she turned around and got off the train was a subroutine that was running. Remember, the guy read it to her and said, I know everything you're going to do. You're going to recruit this guy. You're going to yeah. do this. You're yeah. going to take this guy here. And she's like, no, no, no. You're not in charge of me. You don't know. And you see the pad and it says, like, escape subroutine. Yeah, yeah. It all out. I remember so, that. Yeah, but so when she gets off that, that train, she's now going against her program. Yeah, That's, coming she's back now to making the park. a cognizant decision. Didn't right. she, though? She broke or she, she 
made it so that if she had the free choice to leave because she knows she wasn't going to get uh, her spine was going to fuse and all that kind of crap. No, like, that was all programmed for her to do all that shit. All that shit she did, the shit she did with that guy making her reprogram yeah. her. She was pro dude. That was it was all a fucking big mind fuck. Yeah. It makes it look like that was all her choice, that she was waking up and making those choices. None of that was her choice. That was all in the subroutine. That was yeah. all the, the entire show was about them waking up at some point. The entire show was about having uh, programmed things look, develop that, a consciousness. That's the that, whole point dude, of the show. Though. That is true. Yes. It doesn't change the fact that it said it right on the fucking screen that she was programmed to go do that. Okay. She I, was when she got on that train I to was, leave the park. That was a line in her programming. I understand that. Can we go beyond just that one programming? You, I'm just saying. We were that, talking about her. Conceivably, though, she at some point. Are we? Are we not? We are not in agreement that she could. Yes, if, conceivably, we could conceive of whatever you're going to say that's wrong, and you've been defending. So let's move on to Spider Man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> I, I am trying to have more of an open mind, but evidently, uh, someone in a black hat is like having the complete, like not even wanting to have a discussion about the possibility. So that's fine. No, oh, no, that's not true. No, so dude, fuck you all. So you sound no. like a flat earther. You, no, that's what flat earth people say. You're trying to have an open mind, but you won't listen to my evidence. That's wrong. Okay. You won't no. listen to the things I'm saying that are completely contradictory. No, all I'm all I'm saying is, Mike, you said open your mind. You said, do you? Th you were asking if she was going against her programming by leaving the park, and I'm saying no. She was actually following her programming. She was breaking her programming by coming back to the park. And, that's all I'm saying. Uh, all right. Okay. And now that. You're right for that specific thing. Okay. Moving beyond that, let's move on and can uh, that's fine. I was moving beyond that though. I was already okay. past that. And okay, just well, you need to like indicate you need to like communicate that to us because yeah. we were talking about I did that, that about five we, minutes ago. I said, All right, no, so beyond didn't. that slow it down for us, Mike. We can't keep up with you. Please. I know. Just to I just know. treat us like a bunch of retarded kids. All right, slow children. it down for us. Because neither children. Jack or I were following you. We can't, we can't catch on to your to your <laughs> super high tech. <laughs> so I should see John Wick too? Well yes. Yeah? Okay. I'll uh, you I'll should. I'll, I'll I'll, I'll go and see that. You I haven't didn't get seen a it yet. No, no. I was they, I was told to save it for the show. So uh. <laughs> no talking about it. You should have seen it. We could talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right. This is this is the point where we're gonna we're gonna wrap the show up. We're gonna spoil Spider Man. So if you haven't seen Spider Man, you don't want to spoil. You know see what? You Hold on. Time out. Pop back up for a second. Maybe it's my programming to have to make it against what you're saying. Do you ever think of that? So I liked Spider Man. Spider Man was really cool in that subroutine running. Jack subroutine running. You would be the worst host ever. <laughs> so you don't make any sense, and nobody wants to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, come on. You'd be, in that, you'd be like, "Hey, I'm making gravy." That would be you at the uh, like. You'd be on cooking I... somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making gravy. That's that would be that would be your line in Westworld. I'm That'd a sexless character. cookie. That's messed yes. up. <laughs> anyway, so Jack, you're right. This is the seventh fucking Spider-Man in a row. I got gotcha. you. Yes. I feel, I feel totally feel you on that. Okay, I'm like, why, why nothing on right. Spider-Man? Um, but I will say, they didn't do an origin story. Mm -hmm. Didn't even touch it. They don't even give a fuck whether you know where he came from or not. They assume that you know he was bitten by a spider. They mention the spider, right? But he doesn't even talk about it. He's kind of like, yeah, yeah, spider, spider, right? Um, they don't go. They don't waste any time with that. They this actor blows the other two away, like Tom Holland. Other, yeah, Tom Holland blows the other two away. Matter of fact, Tobey Maguire. After you see Tom Holland, Spider Man, you're gonna look back at Tobey Maguire and go, whoa. Ugh. What were they thinking? Yeah, right, right. He's terrible. <laughs> I, I, you know, a lot of people don't like Andrew Garfield that much. I thought he was okay. Yeah. Um, but Tom Holland is much better. The story was, you can tell, like, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm calling Mike out on this when you're right. Disney, it's a Disney movie. So the writing was better. The, the, the whole story was better. Pacing. The pacing, the feel, yep. 
the the comedy that wasn't over the top comedy like it was funny but it wasn't like yuck, 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 oh you're telling a joke yeah, funny yeah. it was just funny because of the situation that he was in it was like real world shit like hey I'm a teenager who has these powers and doesn't know really how to use them and I'm gonna go get involved in shit and uh, I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes with my powers like I'm gonna jump and oh fuck I can't jump that far splat and you know just shit like that and it it was yeah. funny. Right. But it wasn't like over the top. It wasn't goofy. It was like, oh, yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. You know, like the kid on a, uh, learning how to ride a skateboard and smashes into a pole. It's funny. It wasn't yuck, yuck funny. <laughs> you know, having right. having this movie be able to exist in the uh, what do you call it? The uh, MCU, MCU uh, gave it a quarter cup of even more awesomeness. It had yes. uh, the perfect amount of connective tissue to all the th- all the Avengers things that have happened, um, all the you know, uh, let me see what else there was. Um... Well, they got to tie into all that stuff that went on, yeah. like, like the, the villain <laughs> instead of the villain like having this technology, like how the fuck would this guy come up with all that shit? Really, yeah. I mean, like it takes corporations, you know, billions of dollars and and fucking years of research and shit to make something like that, right? How did this motherfucker come up with this shit in his fucking basement? And if he can come up with this shit in his basement, why is he robbing banks? Why is he just selling this tech and making billions of dollars? It just doesn't make any sense. They answered that in this. This was fucking it was handled perfectly. The yeah. technology that the villain had and that he was using totally made sense. And they've set up so many awesome things for the next movie. Like, there's no reason why we won't have the Sinister Six in the next movie. And it works. Right. And it makes sense. Because, yes. because the Tinkerer, I don't know if you knew this or not, but as yes. I did a lot of reading behind it. The Tinkerer was in there. He was the guy yeah. who was the one, oh, do you want me to do the uh, whatever the sealed envelope-y he was his, thing? He was his tech yeah. guy. He was the badass yeah. tech guy. Yeah. So, uh, and he, he's and the, the one scorpion. actually who, yeah. Oh, the Scorpion right. was in there, right? Yep, yep, yep. He's the one in jail. It was the end scene. And it's not it's not goofy either. I mean, like for example, they had this guy and he was like calling himself the Shocker, and he's just and and it's funny because because uh, um, the main villain, what's his name, uh, the Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, Vulture, Vulture, yeah, Vulture. Well, I know it's Vulture, but Michael Keaton. I'm trying to think of the actor's name. So Michael Keaton looks at him and he goes, "The fuck, Shocker! What kind of bullshit is that?" Right? Michael Keaton never calls himself a villain name. Like, yeah. The villain doesn't have a villain name. It just it kind of it's kind of mentioned like vulturey type guy on a note that Peter Parker uh-huh. leaves behind, right? Yeah. It's, he's never called the Vulture. Never calls himself the Vulture. It's never goofy. He's he plays that character very straight, you know, like 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 a real like a like a real bad guy kind of. But he's uh, also he's a bad guy. He's not corny either. You sympathize with why he's doing what he's doing. Like you're like uh-huh. he is the bad guy. He is a villain. But I get why he's doing what he's doing. He gets fucked. He's a guy who gets fucked by the government. Yeah. Yeah. He gets fucked by the man. Right. And he's like, um, he decides to take this tech. Cause all right. So the premise Jack is this, you know, the, in, in, in Avengers, when all those aliens attack and, they, and, and the, uh, the Avengers beat them and there's all this destruction and shit laying everywhere. Michael yes. Keaton's company gets a contract to clean up New York. A part of yeah. it. He's one of the guys who gets, you know, one of the many, Subcontractor. He's, yeah. he's subcontracting. He's cleaning up New York. And the government comes in and goes, all right, never mind. You guys, uh, I'm killing your contract. And he's like, dude, I bought equipment. I hired people. I gave up on other jobs. I'm going to lose my ass. Right? And the yeah. government's like, eh, fuck you, basically. Yeah. And he's just like, eh, not my problem. He's like, I'm going to lose my business. I'm going to go out of business. So he's like, fuck it. And he starts, he starts getting all this tech. Like he keeps a bunch of the tech that he had that they didn't know that he had already, that he'd already reclaimed. So he keeps that. And then he starts using that tech to like get more of that shit. And he's like, I oh, mean, I can make a lot of money off this tech selling it to like, you know, underground criminals and shit like that. <clears throat> and and so that's his business. So he's basically just a businessman dealing in black market shit. And what his gut the tanker, like Mike said, his his tech guy starts figuring out how this shit works and he makes that vulture suit for him. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's where that comes from. So it's not like they invent they didn't invent shit. They just figured out how to use this shit and replace it. <coughs> So that was pretty cool. A little far fetched, but it's a superhero movie. But it's not over the top. Yeah. Um, and Michael Keaton plays. He's not like <laughs> Spider Man. None of that. <laughs> None of that. Um, and and you know, and he like even tries to give him a. He's like, he's like, dude, man, just leave me alone. Like, you go do your thing. Go yeah. be whatever, and fucking let me feed my family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What'd you think, Mike? So he's sympathetic. Yeah. Sympathetic. You know? Yeah, yeah, you definitely were in, you know, you kind of felt bad for the guy a little bit, and you're like, well, I understand how how and why you are. 
You know, it's like, ah, eh, you're fl <laughs> flying a little too close to the sun there, Mr. Vulture. Yeah. But uh, he's not chaotic evil. He's no, um, yeah. no, right, exactly. Yeah, that's good. He's that's more like chaotic it. neutral. Like he wasn't there chaotic you know. good. He's not a good guy. No. It's funny yeah. too. He accidentally kills this one dude, oh, and he's just like, yeah, I was "Oh shit!" Mention that. He's like, "Oh, I thought that was the other gun." He's like, "No." He's like, "Eh, oh well." <laughs> yeah, like yeah, was he wasn't like, trying to kill the dude, he didn't but then he didn't kill feel the guy, bad. right? But he didn't yeah. feel bad about it either. And the other guy was a dick anyway. Fuck him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I want to I want to bring up something. I want to have a discussion on Spider Sense because this is a huge thing going along around the Spider Verse. Yeah. But uh, was there something else that you wanted to touch on before we uh, touch on that? Okay, we can talk Spider Sense. It's fine. Okay. All right. So I don't know uh, what your thoughts are, Pete, on this, but uh, you know, as you know, the decision was made not to make it uh, uh, a main feature that right. Spider Man has Spider Sense. Right. Uh, that said. Uh, a lot of people were kind of like really upset about that, like not very happy about it at all. Well, and, and look, to me, it didn't take away from the movie. No, didn't even notice it until it was, somebody mentioned it. Yeah. And I've done further research and found that they gave him or he he in that in that universe, wherever he had this Spider-Man, whatever he has spider sense. OK, yeah. he has it. But they chose not to put it in this movie and they. Just like you can explain it, you know, like how we explained Vulture and, and made it reason, it, it is perfectly explainable. So listen to me, people. Anybody who thinks, ooh, ooh Spider Sense. Okay, listen. When Superman, okay, flew down as a little baby, okay, when he when he hit the earth, did he come out flying? No. He was a baby. Okay. He had to learn how to crawl before he could learn how to walk. And then he'd learn how to walk before he could learn how to fly. So it's the same thing. He Remember, they didn't do the origin story, but they made it seem like it was within six months that he got these powers. It's it was about six months to a year, no more than a year yeah. that he had these powers, and he's like been growing around into a little it. bit. He even mentions like that when uh, Tony was looking at his uniform or looking at his uh, his getup that he had before he gave him the spider, you know, his uh, Stark suit. Uh, you know, he he was like, what the hell is this? What are these goggles? And he's like, hey, I need them because you know it dulls my senses because my senses are all like you know hyped up. So. He hasn't hard. He hasn't learned how to harness that. He hasn't learned how to figure out how to use his spider sense to make it extremely useful for him yet. Right. That's all that is. And they said that they're going to put it in in the next movie. So right. take a deep breath, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna get through this, okay? Right. Spider sense is a thing. We're gonna get through this. The only the only thing I wanted to say that that I that I really liked the movie was hitting me in my feels. This is the first time I've seen a Spider Man anything. That felt like the comics I used to. I used to collect Spider-Man. Yeah. So Spider-Man was one of my the comics I collected the most. You know, some people were X-Men, some people were Spider-Man was my comic, my go-to comic. Ah, fucking love me some Spider-Man. I collected Spider-Man for years, and this is the first time anything's ever felt like that. Like just reading the reading the comic and and just the how funny he was as a character. You know, the, the witty banter, the the um, just the pacing and the feel and the way the stories are written. <clears throat> and this was it. They captured it. They somehow turned the book yeah. into the movie, and 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 it was good. It was, it was really good. I gotta give them props. I gotta say, they it tastefully took from different because you know, look, like, there's Spider Man. There's the Amazing Spider Man. There's Spider Man. Is it? There's the Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Is there? A, and there's Spider Man uh, X Force. There's all mm. these. I don't know which genre Miles Morales is in, but. They even brought in Miles Morales. I don't know if anyone realizes this or not, but Prowler was the guy who was uh, buying the weapons in the first thing when Spider-Man found yes. um, found him, as well as later on he runs into him again and yeah. Yeah. gets him to the car. So he's the guy that, that gets was, webbed. He gets his hand webbed to the trunk. That was his uncle. That's Miles Morales' uncle, Prowler, and Uncle Prowler. <laughs> right, Uncle <laughs> and Prowler. So, so it's conceivable that, all right, and this is the great thing. They put so much in, and I think this is this is great because it's like we don't know what they're going to actually bring into that movie and we don't know what they just put in as, as a nod as a like a here you go like yeah. hey this is for you and they you know do a I mean? lot of that they do a lot yeah. of that in the Mar in mcu you'll see characters yeah. that will kind of like just we're just putting a nod we this person exists we're not gonna do anything with them but there there they are yep there, there is, is a place they're uh, next door to uh what, what i forgot what his favorite sub place is that he 
ends yeah. up blowing up right. across the street from the bank. There's a place next door to that, and it is like it's uh it's a very quick. Th I don't know how somebody got a hold of this already as a as a screen grab. Uh, I th it's something about Thor. I don't know if it was Ragnarok cleaners or something oh, like that. But like <laughs> they just, I mean, the amount of detail that they can put in. You know, right. I, I encourage anyone go watch like um, new rock stars or some of the of these other really um, great um, mm -hmm. content YouTube creators that, that kind of just go through and find all the Easter eggs in these movies. Yeah. Highly recommend going in and find because there are so many Easter eggs. It is it's like, oh, my God, I didn't even see that. I did. I had no right. idea. Wow. And it just makes but, the, the movie even better. And and I like what they did. What all right, so <clears throat> what Tony did with his suit, <clears throat> all those things that are in his suit. They actually make it realistic for him to be a superhero, like just like, you know, being able to track things, being able to listen in on radio bands, being able to use like those enhanced senses and stuff. That's all the shit that, that are real. Like if you were Spider-Man, like and you really wanted to be a crime fighter superhero, that's all this kind of shit. You would need that stuff, yeah. you know, like in the comics, he would do all this stuff with his webs. Right. He'd like, I'm going to make a web ball and and. And, or I'm gonna I'm gonna web up these bricks and and swing them around and hit somebody with the with a with a like a mace like uh -huh. like a you know, like a flail, but like there was no controls in his web shooters to do any of that shit. Like how does he just fucking do? How does he how does he spin a big web like this? But or sometimes shoot little webs. It's like with these just just pushing these things on his hands, right? But in the movie, that's because Tony Stark designed his web shooters to do all. He can like do all these combinations of things. Yeah. He tells his suit, I want to do this kind of web. I want to do this kind of web. And then, hold on, hold on. That's after the training wheels protocols. Yeah, were I know. Let's, let's, yeah, let's not get let's not go too deep into it. We don't want to tell awesome. the whole movie. Everybody's anyone watching this has seen it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was that was funny. Spoilers. Right. No, I know, I know, but we don't need to be. You know, we don't need to go into something if they've already seen it. They're like, you know. But yeah, yeah that was funny. That was that was funny. Uh, so so oh, Jack, just, uh, I, I would really... suggest check it out. It, yeah, it's worth I, a watch. I really okay, wanted, I really wanted to see the Iron Spider uh, costume or the Iron Spider suit in action, though. But I know they're going to bring it in the next movie. Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah. Come on, the yeah. Iron Spider. Oh. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, what's wrong with you? Not interested. So so awesome. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think I think we're we're on time. So let's let's yeah. wrap this. We're all, we're all time to be late. <laughs> yeah, we're on time to be late. We're we're we've hit the hit the end. Um. So, uh, but yeah. So, who thinks? What do you think, Jack? If you had to pick between Myler or Mike, looking at the draft, what do you think? Um, I think it's gonna I be think, one of those two. I think Myler's gonna win it. He's he's certainly very humble about it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I I uh, I think he's gonna win. Hey, you know what? We encouraged him to trash talk. When I started this whole no. thing, we I told him, I said, I said, you know, I said, feel free to trash talk all you want. And he took that to heart. And I, I'm digging it. He's, 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 that's the spirit of the game. Matter of fact, we should all be trash talking more. Um, but I do. Yeah. I like. What's that? No, I said we're coming down to the wire. So it'll it'll start happening now. It'll start getting crazy. I mean, dude. I, I still could win. It's going to be a little bit of a miracle. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to have a uh, you know what, what is it uh, Valerian's gonna have to be a hail mary pass for me you know it's it's yeah. gonna have to if I'm gonna win all right so for me to win Valerian's gonna have to make at least 150 million mm -hmm. and Spider Man's gonna have to do what Mike said it's gonna have to beat Guardians so if if Spider Man beats Guardians and Valerian can make 150 million I stand a chance of winning short of that no fucking chance there's no way I'm gonna win no way and as and, long as huh go ahead what? and and Dunkirk is going to have to do no better than the predictions. Like when they're saying it's going to do 225, 230, if it does more than that, it doesn't matter what the fuck I do. I mean, you know, there's no way. As long as this car is going 88 miles an hour, yeah, exactly. right at the point where the right. lightning strikes and hits this pole, everything should be fine. Right. And and Jack, you have do you have you have atomic blonde, right? Yes. That could be a fucking crazy sleeper. Um, the Dark Tower could be a crazy sleeper. What if, yeah. I mean, what if Dark Tower does 150? Atomic Blonde does 150, and fuck Emoji Movie does 150. You know, Dark Tower <laughs> looks good. I forgot we had, we didn't even talk talk about that. Dark yeah. Tower looks good. It does look good, but I don't think it's gonna uh, pull. A lot. I I I doubt it'll do more than 120. 
And I not that know. it doesn't deserve to do more than 120. Got to remember, we, we got to in this game we got to separate ourselves from what we would like and reality, right? Yeah. Like like what we think a movie should make and what it makes. And I think Dark Tower probably going to be one of those movies that should make, you know, bank like 200 million or whatever, but I don't think it will. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. That's why I love this game. All right, guys, let's wrap up. Let's let's do it. Uh, I'm just gonna run. The, I'm just gonna go right to the closer. If you guys are good with that, yeah, go for it. All right, all right, all right, everybody. You have just enjoyed another. Did you just mute me? Did you just mute me? <laughs> You've enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits. Jump into the chat room and ask our guest questions. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the encore episodes at YouTube Mythwits. Find us on Mythwits.com, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and not SoundCloud. We're on Podbean now. Mythwits.podbean.com. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. Please give us a bunch of stars and reviews on iTunes. Screenshot that. Post to our Facebook page. And we got something coming up. We got a contest coming up. Uh, I'm not I'm not ready to reveal it just yet. But if if in the next couple of weeks, you're going to start to be able to win stuff. Mythwits is part of the Studio One. Or, <laughs> blah, blah. Mythwits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. If you like us, you're bound to like other great shows there. Check out TS, TSRPN.com. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Make sure to check out Studio187.com for more cool stuff. And Jack's blog. His second one's up. It's great. Thanks, Woo. everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike. It wasn't her programming. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs>